and welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls. Today we're going to be doing a dream address tour of several different nooks cranny areas from really talented creators. I think they're gorgeous islands and yeah, I just want to start out by giving a shout out to some important contributors to this video. First of all, thank you to my members, Jonathan, Kelly, Teresa, Lady, Just Verily, Sarah, and Alyssa. You guys are the bomb. Thank you so much for becoming members of my channel. And I just wanted to shout out Crossing Channel and Tiger for inspiring this sort of video. I wanted to make one on Nook's Cranny and they served as big inspirations for that. So thank you both. I don't know if you noticed in the background of that shout out, but I've been trying to get this present the whole time. Um, it wasn't worth it, can confirm. But yeah, I'm gonna show you my Nook's Cranny here on Lost Falls because it's one of my very recent speed builds. And then I'll go ahead and jump into the dream addresses. Okay, so our first dream address here is Marglade by my friend Steven on Twitter. I'll share their handle and link them in the description, but I think this Nook's Cranny is incredible. This island is just so unique. Steven was inspired by Swamp Core to make their own sort of swampy island. The dream address is not publicly available yet, but here is the map. I think the terraforming speaks for itself. It is absolutely stunning. But yeah, the lead up here to Nook's Cranny, it's just enchanting. Everything about this, the colors, it feels like such a beautiful mix of tropical and swamp. I'm just blown away by this island. So yeah, definitely keep an eye on their Twitter for when they release the stream address because believe me, you want to be here. Next, not to be rude, it's Lorien, my island on my other Switch. Um, I had to come here because, I mean, I had my own permission. So I've kind of tucked Nook's Cranny away in the woods a little bit. I've created this greenhouse area in front that links Nook's Cranny to Able Sisters. So it is a sort of vertical shopping district, I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to give Nook's Cranny a very tucked away vibe, like it's in its own little nook pardon the pun. So there are tons of trees, which is true for most of my island. And yeah, I hope you like it. I really love this area. I think it's very calming and because it's close to the beach, it has a very casual feel. So yeah, this is my nooks. Over to the left, I've created these staggered waterfalls just to give this area a little bit of terraforming oomph so it fits in with the rest of the island because sometimes it's really hard to figure out terraforming near buildings. I'll show you my map. I'll show you the map for all of the shops just so that you can situate yourself. You can see where I'm standing is where Nook's Cranny is. So yeah, that's where it is in relation to the rest of my map. Next up is the absolutely stunning island of Barknos by one of my Instagram friends. I want to share as many themes as possible in this video so that it is applicable across whatever like vibe you're going for on your island. So this wintry island really stood out to me. I love how they've arranged the area in front of Nooks. It feels so casual and fun. Also, please look at these little candy cane designs. I am obsessed. I'm gonna link all of the social media accounts for the islands that are featured in this video. So if you're curious about codes, you can check out the creator's social media to see if they share them publicly. But yeah, this winter island is just so beautiful and the signs and everything, the signage leading to Nook's Cranny is gorgeous. I just loved everything about it, the detail, Oh, just amazing. I'm so glad that I got to come to this island. This 
this nook's cranny is very close by resident services as well as able sisters so a super convenient setup Next island here is the iconic Blush by Blush Fairy on Instagram. This island has a beautiful fairy core winter wonderland vibe. It's just insane. You've got to visit this dream address. It's so beautiful, especially at this sunrise hour. So yeah, I really enjoyed the way this one was situated. Just the terraforming all around it makes it feel very tucked away, not in the way I did it with so many trees, but with all of these cliffs, you feel like you're finding a mysterious shop just out in the wilderness. It's so cute. It has like mountain vibes almost. The buildings on this map are very spaced out and you can see just how beautiful the terraforming is, how it stretches completely across the island just stunning. This is Silver Pine by AC Close on Twitter. This island had such a unique vibe. I loved the way Nook's Cranny was through the woods. You have to take a very winding path to get here and once you do it feels kind of like an outpost, like a little gas station stop point between two cities just out in the middle of nowhere, big country vibes. I love the way they decorated here. It just looks absolutely beautiful. Also, so many of their cedar trees have lights. It's so pretty. I love the lights in the cedar trees. This is another island that links the Able Sisters very close by, which is so super convenient. They have so many custom pads on this island, the map is super interesting, so I'll share that with you. Uh, I think it's a very unique map as well, I love the terraforming here, the cliffs at the front. Next is the island of Varuna by Ethan. I think this island is immaculate, it's so beautiful. It has like city vibes, but older city vibes rather than the like modern urban vibes. Uh, I just love this nook's cranny. It's so cozy and it just looks so beautiful here. Also just to the right here you can see that there's like a shop for Leaf, a little plant shop and I think that is so adorable. Leaf deserves only the very best. The fountain and everything just makes this area so elegant. It's just stunning. Another thing Ethan does really well is this lead up, like the shrubs and everything are so gorgeous. The trees, the orange trees add that pop of color. It's lovely. Before I forget, here is the map for Varuna. Very structured and organized. This map is so easy to navigate. I love it. This island truly blew me away, the island of Veronica by Kimbachu on Twitter. I love how wide the paths are here. I feel like usually you see just too wide and this one has just very cute paths, very unique. Also the fact that it's in cherry blossom season, this was such a calming island to visit. It's like the perfect time of day. It was just so gorgeous. The colors and everything were so beautiful. And again, we have like a little shopping district as Abel's is right behind, which is super convenient. I love the greenery here. It feels so lush, but also just so clean, so easily navigable. It's amazing. I of course had to praise the shrubs and sniff the flowers. It was a given. For this island is another stunning one. I absolutely adore these paths. Oh my goodness. Now we are on the island of Roseleaf by Sherry Blossom on Twitter. 
I loved the water terraforming here. It felt so unique and creative. It just felt like you were navigating some super cool area to get to Nook's Cranny. And because it's also in cherry blossom season, it was just gorgeous. The lighting and everything at this island was outstanding. I loved it here. The lead up is also very nice. You can see there's like some symmetry vibes going on, but it's also so asymmetrical. It's just a lot to look at. This seems like a vibe on the whole island. The terraforming is just incredible. Next up is this beautiful urban island, Akala Isle by ACNH Noratastic on Instagram. I think this is so lovely. The like falling snow, but early in the season gives super industrial vibes, like it's ash falling, which is just so cool. It has very believable city vibes and the Nook's Cranny fits in alongside all of these custom design panels that represent other buildings. I just think this was done so beautifully. Looking at this map, you can see just how many custom designs are being used. Now, welcome to the island of Afterglow by Lucy. This island is just, I mean, I was speechless for most of my visit here. It was nothing like anything I've ever seen before. Just stunning. I keep using that word, but I mean it. All of these islands are just, ugh. Oh. But yeah, Lucy's done such a beautiful job creating this area. Like, look at this. Look how beautiful it is. Lucy makes a lot of the custom designs for Afterglow, and you can see just how much custom path work is done here. Next, we go to the phenomenal forest island of Moonset by Chester's Crickets on Instagram. This island was one of the most inspiring I'd ever seen. It inspired much of my early work on Rivendell and Lorien. Just a beautiful island. I mean, you can see for yourself the way she's attached this beach area to the nook's cranny. It's just so welcoming and so well done. The flowers and shrubs alternating is so beautiful and her paths are so like well laid out and organized. This is another island that feels so easy to navigate even though there is so much terraforming. It takes a lot of skill to make an island feel like that and Leanne has done it perfectly. The sheer effort Leanne put into this island is clear on this map. Just incredible. Before I leave, I just want to show you how it connects to the entrance as well. It's right here. You can just wander your way over to Nook's Cranny, but Leanne's entrance is also gorgeous. so. Sorry, but we had to walk through it too. Now we are on the island of Melihua by Melihua Crossing on Instagram. I love this island. I think it is also another one that is so cohesive. The theme is so beautiful and unique and the terraforming is just out of this world. You can see that Nook's Cranny is kind of similar to mine in that it is set on the first cliff tier with some cliffs to the left but just the area around it, the context that is given to this nook's cranny is amazing. Look at this rock garden with the valiant statue. We've got like a courtyard market out here. We've got the plant stalls, the benches, all of it is just amazing, like so inspiring. And the map here too will show you again just how hard this creator has worked. Look at this terraforming, all of the custom path work, it's amazing. It struck me that we haven't visited a beach nooks yet, so here is the island of Moon by Colin Crossing on Instagram. 
This is one of the most unique islands I visit in this video, I think. It's the only beach nooks, and I love the way this looks. It has like a forbidden night market vibe almost, like you would go here to have your fortune read. All of the furniture is just so cute. It's like carnival meets sorcery. I don't even know how to describe it. But yeah, this is very close by the entrance, so easily accessible to visitors of this island. And the rest of the island has a very interesting mix of natural lush vibes and city vibes. So I definitely recommend visiting this dream address. It is definitely not going to disappoint. Colin is a very inventive creator and this map is so interesting. I just love Moon. The next creator should be familiar to any of you who have watched my previous videos. This is Alyssa, the one who designed so many of my clothes, and she has turned her nook's cranny into a lumber yard. Like, tell me this isn't phenomenal. I mean, it's extraordinary, the detail here. I love the custom designs and the axe and the pile of wood. Everything is so well done. And Alyssa was walking around the whole time. She really wanted to be part of this. She was really interested in Nook's Cranny as well. Unfortunately, they're closed. But yeah, this Nook's Cranny is just also so creative and lovely. I was blown away. was not interested in receiving my praise at this moment, but I'm still very grateful to her for this exclusive sneak peek. This dream address is not public yet because Juniper is not completely finished, so thank you so much, Alyssa, for sharing your island with us early. Just like Steven of Marglade, I really appreciate it. Here is the 15th and final island for this video, Madagascar by Marina. This Nook's Cranny is another one that I was just blown away by. I mean, it's so, like, it's so simple, I guess. There's not, it's not very busy, but it looks so amazing. It was remarkable how the creator managed to make this area feel so cozy with the trees and the cliffs around it, but it doesn't feel cluttered at all. It's very open and welcoming, and I just adored that. I mean, this island is beautiful. This is another shopping district example, so I wanted to show you what it looks like all together. Just, I have no words. It was phenomenal. <laughs> This island is a work in progress, but you can see the terraforming here is already spectacular. Just amazing. I hope you all enjoyed all of these nooks cranny examples and that they can inspire your shopping district. Thank you so much for watching and here is Peaches to tell you all goodbye until the next video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.